The Great Rabbit Chase by Freya Blackwood. Mum went out to buy a new pair of gumboots, but came home with a rabbit. I named him Gumboots. He is soft and beautiful, with very sharp claws for scratching, and very strong teeth for chewing. But what he does best is escape. Mum is good at catching gumboots with her quick snatching hands. But today, Gumboots escapes just when Mum is in the shower and Norman is at the front door waiting to play. We all race down the road after Gumboots. Our neighbour, Edith, is waiting with a plate of cakes for the postman. Mum says Edith can talk the leg off a horse, but Gumboots doesn't stop to chat. We follow him down a driveway into a jungle of elm trees and through a broken paling fence. We tiptoe across the Kirkpatrick's backyard. They don't like visitors or dogs or cats and they especially don't like rabbits. Luckily Gumboots doesn't stop to meet Mr Kirkpatrick. At the zebra crossing John is daydreaming. I think he misses his old country. Traffic is piled up and someone beeps a horn. John's bright red sign doesn't stop gumboots. A man in a shiny blue car gets out to help us. He looks important in his fancy black shoes, but he's not as fast as gumboots. Along the path near the big school, we meet Mrs Finkel and her baby Anna, who's crying very loudly. Even a screaming Anna doesn't stop Gumboots. We follow Gumboots up the main street. Norman's blue sock is slipping down into his shoe. The pink icing on Edith's cupcakes is melting. John's stop sign looks heavy. The important man keeps looking at his watch and Mrs Finkel's forehead is crinkled with worrying. Then Gumboots reaches the big park and disappears. We explore the trees. They are like giants with their long legs stuck into the ground. Norman giggles at the cherubs winging into the fountain. Edith and John watch tadpoles in the creek and drop leaf boats into the water. There is no sign of gumboots. Edith's cupcakes are yummy. Screaming Anna has gone to sleep and Mrs Finkel's forehead uncrinkles. Norman and the important man paddle in the creek. Mum falls asleep. And I worry about gumboots. Then a small grey ball of fur hops straight past me. It's Gumboots. Following him is a black rabbit. And one, no, two, no, three, four, five little grey and black rabbits. With their ears flapping, they hop through the park. We follow the rabbits down the main street. Mrs Finkel smiles and waves goodbye. The important man leaves to find his car. Back at the crossing, John holds his stop sign proudly and we all cross the road. We tiptoe back through the Kirkpatrick's yard and into the jungle of elms. We drop Norman next door and give Edith a big hug. Then, Mum and I go home.